Jesus, I do now receive him. More than all in him I find. He hath granted me forgiveness. I am his and he is mine. Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a friend. Saving, helping, keeping, loving. He's with me to the end. What a great savior we have in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glad to be with you this morning and trust that what we would share today would really encourage your heart. I'm looking at this man, Nehemiah, and uh, I'm looking at the evidence of a great leader, the evidence of a great leader. And one of the things that we looked at is that he used his privileges for helping the people. The next thing that I wish to share with you is that he refused to exploit the people. Look at verse 15 of Nehemiah chapter 5. In verse 15 he said, But the former governors that had been before me were chargeable unto the people, and had taken of them bread and wine, besides forty shekels of silver, yea, even their servants bear rule over the people. Look at the latter part of this verse. But so did not I, because of the fear of God. Nehemiah, what is it that you are saying? What Nehemiah is saying is that though it was something that he had the rights to do, he knew that the people, they were going through a tough time. And in order for him to get what would have been due to him, he knew that that would have been burdensome, chargeable to the people. And sometimes to do that, new taxes are raised. And he said he refused to do that. So let's look. He refused to exploit the people. The former governor lived off the people. The servants of the governors had used their position for personal gain in verse number 15. They probably took bribes from the people, promising to speak on their behalf to the governor. Yeah, the servants of the governors. No doubt this was something that they did. You know, sometimes it is sad to say, but it is true. In life, it is not what you know. It is who you know. And it depends on who you know. You may get some mileage. But if you don't know anybody, you may have to wait and wait forever before you see somebody. So these servants, no doubt, they were taking bribes and saying that they would speak to the governor for the people. Because the people, they were going through a tough time. When people are in places of authority, the temptation to increase with wealth and power is always present. Always present. It will even show itself of how it could be done. They made the people provide them with bread and with wine. Of course, no doubt, because he was governor and uh, these were his assistants, the former governor, he had the rights to do it. Of course, when you hire someone, you are required to pay that someone. But that someone too must use his or her discretion as to when one should be paid and how one should be paid. You know, this pandemic would have taught us all a lesson. And as leaders, all of us, if we really care about God, would have made all the necessary adjustments as leaders of God. Now, notice something else. I have also noticed that he walked alongside the people. What a governor. Nehemiah was not just an office man. He walked alongside the people. Now, how would you say that, Pastor? Or what caused you to say that? If you come back with me to chapter 5, and we look at verse number 16, we would see, Yea, 
also I continued in the work of the Lord. Who continued? Nehemiah said, I continued. Continued where? He continued in the work of the Lord. He could only continue something that he started. He was there walking alongside him. He says, neither bought we any land and all of my servants were gathered thither unto the work. <laughs> they were not waiting until people could not pay for their properties and then watch, they buy them. No, he did not just shoot orders. He used his hands. He refused to excuse his servants or his assistants from walking on the walls. They had to walk like everybody else. There's a verse found over in Luke chapter 22 and verse number 27, a verse that comes to mind that I'd like to share with you. He said, for whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth. Is not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. You know, as a leader, many times, because one becomes a leader, there's certain things that one will not do. There are some people who will not dot their hands because they are the leader in the spiritual sense. There are some folks who are pastor and figure that they will not touch nothing more than the Bible. There are some folks who will just sit around and if, if they feel like they're already ready for Sunday morning, they're ready for Sunday morning. There's nothing more that they should do. But Nehemiah was not a man like this. Nehemiah was a servant among God's people. He walked alongside his people and those that he had walking with him. It's not that he just went to walk and give his assistants a free chance so that they would do nothing. No, 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 no. If he had to walk, then his assistants had to walk alongside the people also. Let me read that 68 verse for you again. He said, Yea, also I continued in the walk of this wall, neither bought we any land, and all my servants were gathered thither unto the walk. Every person that he had walking with him, they were required to walk, walk hard, and walk like him. I love this man. Wow. I love Nehemiah. He refused to take their land as collateral. And when they couldn't pay, he owned it. He refused to do that. You know, sometimes when you're in leadership, there are opportunities. You have to be so careful of your motive. What a man. Notice something else. And time is running this morning. He refused to buy land on any bargain price. You know, when people are having things tough and they got property, they would, you know, love to sell it off. And sometimes they run to those who they believe are able to buy it. And because they are in trouble, the price is so, so low that it seems like some folks can't miss just having that piece of property. But I say that Nehemiah refused to be a man like that. He was a man of integrity. He walked alongside the people. Walk for there's coming a day when no man can walk. I trust this morning that in regards to this point that I've proven to you the evidence of a great leader. I believe that Nehemiah was a great leader and the evidence is there to prove that he was a great example of a great leader. I trust that something would rub off on us and I trust that we all would learn from Nehemiah. I know that there are many out there who are great leaders also today and I thank God for you. Keep up the good work, you know, Many of us, there are little areas that we need to work on in our leadership. And I trust that as we learn from God's word, that we will make the necessary adjustments. And I always remember that it is people that we are leading 
And remember, watch what? People need you today. You need him tomorrow. So let's be there one for another. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the leader. Thank you for the evidence that we have from your word that he was a great example of a great leader. God, may you build in us the character of being great examples for others to follow. Thank you for the great examples of today, Lord, all leaders who are. I pray that you will use them for your honor and for your glory. We love you, praise you, and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, join me next morning as we look at the reason for a great example. May God bless you. Have a great day. Don't forget to share this devotion.